ஹாய் எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு டெக்ஸ்டைல் அண்ட் கவர்மெண்ட் மெர்ச்சண்டைசிங் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் யூ அபவுட் கவர்மெண்ட் காஸ்டிங் கால்குலேஷன் ஃபார் அ பேசிக் டிஷர்ட் ஸோ பிஃபோர் என்ட்ரிங் இன் டு த கால்குலேஷன் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் யூ த பேசிக் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் காஸ்டிங் த பேசிக் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் வில் பி த ரா மெட்டீரியல் காஸ்ட் அண்ட் தென் கன்வர்ஷன் காஸ்ட் conversion cost means uh, converting the material from one form to another form for that you have to spend some money that becomes conversion cost and then uh, distribution cost it means cost incurred to transport the goods from one place to another place that becomes distribution cost and then your profit for example you can take garment industry the raw material will be the yarn so the cost of yarn becomes raw material cost and then conversion cost includes your uh, knitting cost dyeing cost cutting sewing cost and etc so in in each and every stage there is a conversion involved so initially we need to convert the yarn into gray fabric so that process is called as knitting for that you have to spend some amount of money in order to convert the yarn into fabric so in each and every stage some costs costs are involved so that becomes conversion cost so distribution cost it means after completing your production pass process you have to take the goods to the agreed location of the buyer so for that you have to spend some amount of money in order to transport the goods from factory to the location so that cost becomes distribution cost and then finally you will add your profit so now we are moving to garment costing calculation take this basic t-shirt round neck with chest printing so these are the measurement like uh, high point shoulder is 75 cm sleeve length 25 cm chest circumference 100 gsm is 180 and then uh, fabric types is single jc so for this t-shirt we will do the costing calculation now we are moving to costing calculation part in this ex- in this example the raw material cost becomes your yarn cost that is 235 rupees per kg so these values i took just for calculation purpose and then uh, your conversion cost will be from knitting to till overheads all the costs becomes your conversion cost in each and every stage there is some conversion process involved like uh, knitting 12 rupee per kg dyeing if it is uh, dark shade means then it will be around 150 uh, 140 to 150 rupees medium and light shade you will get less cost so if you have any all over printing uh, in the t-shirt you can include the all over printing rate after dyeing and then compacting is 11 rupees and then finally we are adding a uh, process loss why because if you are giving 100 kg of yarn in the knitting while you are getting the finished fabric you will get around uh, 92 kg of finished fabric so the remaining 8 kg becomes loss so the loss percentage will change from fabric to fabric for single jc it will be around 8 percentage and then your chest fin printing cost will be around 15 rupees so if it is a single color then it will be around 8 to 10 rupees when you increase the number of colors then the price also will increase the cmt cost will becomes 30 rupees per piece cmt includes your cutting cost trimming cost sewing cost including packing <coughs> and then you have to add the cost of sewing trims sewing trims means like uh, sewing thread labels buttons these items comes under sewing trims and then packing accessories it includes your uh, cotton box poly bag size wrapper size sticker price tag so everything comes under packing accessories then uh, overheads it means that there are certain certain departments which is common for all like hr department you can take you cannot fit the hr salaries 
into uh, production department because hr is common for all all the departments like merchandising department is common accounting is common and electricity bill that you are paying every month is a common one so while calculating the garment costing you can also add need to add these expenses as well so here you may have a question how to calculate the overhead you can take the expenses incurred in hr department merchandising department accounting department and etc divide by the average production capacity of a factory so you will get the overheads per piece you can include that while calculating the garment costing then comes to distribution cost here i mentioned as F fob what it means freight on board it means that manufacturer is responsible until he loads the goods into the ship from the factory so it is one of the most safest option for the manufacturer there are various modes of transports also available in the export like uh, cost and freight cost insurance freight delivery duty paid there are a lot of terms out there so fob is one of the safest option for the manufacturer so depends on your mode of transport the cost will change and then finally you are adding your profits and then if you are doing an export business most of the businesses will happen in dollars only so it is better to convert your garment price into dollars so for that i am taking this dollar value and also while calculating the garment costing you can also include the rejection percentage testing expenses inspection expense and buying of his commissions if it is applicable if it if its impacts your costing then you can add these costings as well so you may have a question like how to calculate these cmt costs so for that i already done a video in sam calculation so when you watch the video you will get an understanding about how to calculate this cost like your cmt cost chest printing cost and then uh, specifically maybe an embroidery cost so that sam calculation will help you to understand how to calculate this cost specifically so the first step in government costing is to identify the various expenses incurred to manufacture a garment the st second step is to calculate the fabric conception calculation so to get uh, more understanding about fabric conception calculation click the below link in the description box and you can uh, find a video on fabric conception calculation so here based on these measurements the fabric conception for one piece is 194 grams and also we need to add the collar weight so the total fabric conception becomes 200 grams almost and also you have to note that if you are using different fabric or contrast color color for collar means you should work out the collar cost separately the third step is to find out the fabric cost per kg so this is the formula that is uh, yarn price and then uh, add knitting cost and then dyeing cost dyeing cost include bleaching uh, washing and dyeing cost and then compacting cost so if you have all over printing you can also include the all over printing while calculating the fabric costing so in our example we do not have all over printing so we excluded that so the yarn price is 235 rupees knitting is 12 rupee for single jersey and then dyeing cost is 150 rupees and then compacting will be 11 rupees <coughs> so when you add all these things you will get uh, 408 rupees that is 408 rupees as fabric cost per kg and the next step is uh, to calculate the fabric cost with process loss 
Why? Because as I said early, when you are giving 100 kg of yarn, you will get only 92 percentage as finished fabric. So you need to include the process loss percentage as well while calculating the fabric cost. So the fabric cost plus process loss. So fabric cost is 108 rupees and then process loss is 8 rupees. 8 percentage. 8 percentage of 408 rupees. So 408 into 8 divided by 100. So you will get a value of 32.64 rupees as process loss. You need to add 408 plus 32.64 rupees. And then finally you will get a fabric cost as 440.64 rupees. So this is the fabric cost with process loss. So the next step is uh, we need to find the fabric cost per piece. So in the last step uh, we fi find the value for 1 kg that is uh, 440.64 rupees. But we need to calculate the garment cost for 1 pieces. So the weight of 1 garment is 200 grams. So we need to convert that to 200 grams. So 440.64 rupees divided by 1000. So you will get the cost of fabric for 1 grams. When you multiply that with fabric conception that is 200 grams you will get the fabric cost for one piece that is 88.42 rupees. So after that uh, we need to find out total cost of garment that is fabric cost per piece and then uh, chest printing cost, CMT cost, sewing trims, packing accessories, warheads and uh, FOB cost. So the fabric cost is 88.42 rupees that we found in the last step. And then chest printing 15 rupees, CMT cost 30, 30 rupees, sewing trims 7 rupees and then uh, packing accessories is 8 rupees, overheads 4 rupees and FOB cost uh, 6 rupees. When you add all these things you will get 158.42 rupees. And then finally uh, the selling price in rupees that is total cost plus profit of 20 percentage. So 158.42 plus 20 percentage of 150 rupees. So the profit becomes 31.68 rupees. So when you add these two the selling price becomes 192 rupees sorry 190 rupees. So the selling price in dollars so you just divide that uh, selling price by the dollar value that is 73.3 you will get the cost in dollars that is 2.593 dollars. So this is the basic structure of a costing. You can take any style. Style to style the values may change like the fabric conception formula may change material cost may change like uh, CMT cost, knitting cost and commission percentage may change, production time may change but the basic structure of costing remains the same. So for paid online uh, training and consultancy you can contact this number and you can also write mail to this email. Thank you.